interrupt the party, but I have a couple of things I have to say. First of all, my mom's getting real upset. There's two brand new hams over there that nobody's touched. Oh, I don't want any leftovers, none at all, and I'm very serious about that. And she means business. Nobody goes home until all the hams gone. Right. right. My second announcement is about the police. What is it? about the noise? No. What kind of an Irish wedding would it be unless the police shut up? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. By the way, I would like to propose a toast to the bride and groom. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Mo, would you mind? Oh, yeah. Girls? Yeah. 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 Drink time thinking about this toast trying to come up with something good it didn't work Aww. so I'm just gonna tell the truth it's Quentin Nola we love you yeah. mm. now I want to propose a toast so I climb up there no! <laughs> we're gonna have a word from the other half of the family now I give you the father of the group! Oh, thank you, thank you. Dear friends, dear family, I don't think it's going to come as a surprise to anybody when I confess that I have a crush on Nola. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's brought a great deal of happiness to my beloved son and to all of the Chamberlains. So, I would like to propose a toast to the beautiful lady who's responsible for the happiness that we're sharing today. Be ridden. Excuse me, uh, Mrs. Chamberlain and I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Chamberlain and I would like to thank you all for sharing this wonderful day with us. And I'd like to propose a toast to my beautiful wife, Nola. I love you. Oh. To Nola. To Nola. Oh, Sorry to see you leave so soon, Father. Well, it's been a long day, and I'm feeling a little tired. Oh, but can't you stay a little longer? Oh, thank you, dear, but I think I better go home and get some rest. I hope you don't mind me. No, 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 not at all. In fact, you better take care of yourself. You've been looking a little peaked lately, Henry. Oh, there's nothing wrong with me that a good night's rest won't cure. Well, goodbye, dear. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful trip. Oh, well, thank you, and we'll... Call you from wherever we're going. Good, You'll good. find out soon enough. Uh, yeah, probably when we get there. <laughs> Father, thank you again for everything. Clinton, you don't have to thank me for a thing. I hope you'll be very, very happy. I am. Oh. oh whoops, whoops. Oh, that that sounds like your tune. Would you, you get on the dance floor? It's your favorite song. <laughs> oh. Your favorite song. When it comes to you, it is. <laughs> Well, I have been waiting for a very special moment to give you this. Oh, you didn't have to. You already have given me the cameo and you gave Quint the watch. This is just a little something extra. You shouldn't have. You've given us so much already. Yes, I know, but you see, I haven't really. And besides, this is something 
that you can both share. Oh. Why don't you undo it? All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mrs. Renfield, did you do all of this yourself? Oh, yes. So that's what you've been doing in these past few months in your room, hmm? oh, Well, yes, well, you see, I wanted it to be absolutely perfect. Nola, my mother, gave me an embroidered linen tablecloth when I was married, and I have copied it to a stitch. It's beautiful. Oh. It's beautiful. Oh. Thank you. Please, Thank my you. darling. You just enjoy oh. it. We'll cherish it always. Oh. And we'll use it the first time we have dinner in our new home. That's right. That's right. Well, I'm very honored. Now, there is something that I have to say to you of, of a more serious nature. Oh? What is it? Well, as you know, I have a sister, Victoria, mm. who owns a small hotel in Scotland. Yes, yes, I remember her. I, uh, received a letter from her recently, and she has asked me if I would consider joining her. In Scotland? Yes. But you... but you can't. Uh, you're going to live with us. Yes, well, that is really what I want to talk to you about. You have your own lives to live now. I have given this a great deal of consideration. And the decision that I have come to has, has really not been very easy for me to arrive at. But you see, my sister is older. She really finds this old hotel is too much responsibility for her. Quint and I must go home. We need you. Besides, we'd miss you terribly. I shall miss you, too. But I leave with a light heart because I know... I know that you have finally found happiness. But, Mrs. Renfield, your home is with us. I know. But I must go. Besides, surely you will come and visit me. Believe me, Nola, Anastasia will love the seashore. We'll come as soon as we can. Yes, we will. Nola, my dear. Please don't be sad. Distance doesn't make any difference. We will always be as close as we are at this moment. Oh, my dear, my dear. And I love you. Are you sure? Are you sure that you're going to be happy? Oh, my goodness, I'm going to be very happy. I shall have my garden. And the hotel is very close to the seashore. Well, Quinton, please believe me. It is what I want to do now. We'll come to Scotland. Well, I shall certainly look forward to that. And please remember that you'll always have a place in our hearts, as well as a place in our home whenever you return. Thank you, Quentin. But I want you two young people to always, always be as happy as you are this day. I love you, Quinton. My son. I love you, Rennie. <laughs> there now. You have a whole wonderful life ahead of you.